Since drawing is at the very heart of the storyboarding process, this video is designed to cover some of the most basic aspects of drawing in the Toon Boom Storyboard Pro interface. When you open up the program, you're going to see a new blank scene in the lower left hand corner. And for us to get started drawing, we want to find the drawing toolbar. So to find the toolbar, Look originally on the left side of your screen, that's where it is by default, but if you can't find the toolbar, you can always go to Windows and then Toolbars and then look for the checkbox next to the word that says Tools. Now I'm going to uncheck it so that my toolbar disappears so I can't find it. So to bring it back, I'll go to Windows, Toolbars, and then Tools. Now we have everything we need to get started. So. Step one is to click on your tool. I'm going to go for the brush there. And then you can pick your options over in Tool Properties. These are the panels that are over to the right. These are called Views. And in your Tool Properties, you can choose from one of the brush presets. You're able to change the size, change other options like color, and uh, there are advanced options here too that we will show. Uh, in future videos. So click your tool and then click the panel that you want to draw in. Click the layer that you want to draw on and then just go ahead and draw. So I'm going to make one of these funny faces that I often do. Alright, so I've drawn a nice big thick drawing there but with other brush sizes you can draw in all kinds of different different sizes, different colors, different textures. We're going to take a quick look at the uses for all of these different tools, but before we do, we have to talk a little bit about one of the most important features of the Toon Boom Storyboard Pro interface, which is that there are two different drawing modes, two different uh, drawing type of layers. Depending on which layer you're drawing in is going to affect how the tools work and that's the vector layers and bitmap layers. The thing that determines whether you're drawing in a vector mode or a bitmap mode is which kind of layer you're drawing in. Now by default, all the layers in Toon Boop Storyboard Pro are vector layers, but you can add bitmap layers anytime you want. So let me show you how you can find out a little bit more about the layers that you're working with. On these layer tabs, at the very top of the column of layer tabs is a double arrow and if you click on that you can see little thumbnails of the images that you're working with. But in addition to that there are little symbols that will tell you whether you're working in one of the vector layers which are symbolized by the triangle square and circle in the corner or if you're working on a bitmap layer which is symbolized by a couple of mountains and a sun or a moon up there. Uh, the other thing it will tell you whether you're working in a vector layer or a bitmap layer is the color on the side. Bitmap layers are colored blue on their tabs and vector layers are colored gray. And the benefit to that is that even if you have this closed, you can see that that's a bitmap layer on top labeled bitmap because I named it that. And underneath that are two vector layers. So my bitmap drawing is on a separate drawing. And now as I compare the two, I can give you some idea very quickly about what the difference is between vector art and bitmap art. Uh, vector drawings are the default drawing mode in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. You can see that they're characterized usually by a, uh, a hard clean line. The strokes are really made up of uh, a simple math equation so they take up a very small file size. I'll sort of demonstrate what that is. If you take this giant nose here the computer sees this as one object. It's just one thing for the program to be thinking about and to remember. And because those lines are, are so simple, the program will perform very quickly. And it's also nice that these are, are changeable and malleable. You can change their shape and change their size and change the rotation and change the color. And that's what's really fun about vectors. They're like magic lines. So that is the uh, default that it comes in. If you go to a bitmap layer, you'll see that they're characterized by a more a softer, more natural look, uh, kind of thing that you would 
typically get if you were drawing in a real pencil and paper with a real uh, soft variation in line and shading and also the the possibility to use very uh, soft erasers. Now the thing about bitmaps is that they work completely differently rather than being just one simple line they're actually millions and millions of little squares these pixels and for that reason they do not perform as well in a storyboard but where you have hundreds and hundreds of drawings that you're scrolling through all the time and so to find a way to let artists work in either vector mode or a bitmap mode there are now two different kinds of layers in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro as we go through and take our survey of those different drawing tools we'll see that there are distinctions between how they perform in the vector mode or in the bitmap mode